Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jose, but you can call me Juice, and I hope y'all are having a great motherfucking Planty Wednesday. <laughs> so. so I hope you guys are having a good day or night, wherever you're from. So today we are going to be making um, a new soil mix. I did make a video in the past, but we're gonna be doing it a little different today. And then we're probably going to be potting up just a couple of plants, um, just so this video isn't too short. Anyways, if that sounds interesting, please make sure to stay until the end. I mainly upload plant content here on this channel, so if you'd be looking for that, I got you. Don't forget to leave a like or a dislike. And if you're gracious enough, you can go ahead and subscribe. You don't have to though, but it would be appreciated. Anyways, I guess we should just hop right into it. So in the video I made before, I'm pretty sure my um, soil mix recipe was perlite, um, miracle grows orchid mix, I believe. And then, um, what's it called? And then the soil base I used is the brand Pacific Northwest Own Organics, I believe. <laughs> they just have a really good potting mix already. Um, and I just basically add a little bit more additives to my preference just to, you know, make my soil just... Yeah, so today we're actually going to be switching up the recipe a little bit. Basically, instead of the orchid mix I used to use, um, I just got a big old bag of wood chips. Um, these are medium chunks or nuggets, whatever they call them. This big old bag was literally only like $4, y'all. Like, if you be looking for wood chips, go to Lowe's. Okay, I was gonna try and maybe get small ones, but I was using the orchid mix for the bark in it. Um, but then, you know, it also has like the chemical um, fertilizer that they use and just like, I don't know. I kind of like to be all natural. It's not the best if you're looking for like wood chips. So I finally just bought a bag of just plain old wood. I feel like I just rambled on that for like way too long. So we're gonna move on. <laughs> These bags be heavy. Here is the soil mix I was talking about. Here, y'all can read it. I've been using this soil mix for like, I wanna say at least six months now and I approve, it works great for me. And then instead of using perlite, I'm actually going to be trying out um, vermiculite. So basically I went to the store looking for, or did I say perlite? I meant pumice. I went to the store looking for pumice and um, they were all sold out, which was kind of rude or whatever, but yeah, so they didn't have any bags of pumice for me, but they did have um, obviously some bags of vermiculite. I've heard of this before, but I've just never personally used it myself, but it is for soil aeration and moisture retention. So it should basically work the same way as pumice, but also I think it might work a little better, honestly, because I think it's um, has more nutrients than pumice does. So yeah, and also it's really good for roots apparently. I think, I don't know, like I said, it's my first time using it. Um, if any of y'all have used vermiculite, let me know your experience in the comments. Um, vermiculite like in a soil mix because I'm not using this as like a medium itself, which I think you can do, but that's not what I'm doing. But yeah, so I'm kind of a little excited to try this out because I feel like low key, I'm gonna like it. But yeah, we'll just see how it goes. And basically we just gotta mix all the stuff together now. All right, so I do wanna get like a bigger container to hold my soul mix in, but we are still just gonna use um, my good old reliable um, snowman bin. If y'all been here, y'all already know. Anyways, let's get into it. So we're just gonna bring the camera angle down a little bit. If y'all see any messes in here, no you didn't. <laughs> All right, so first we're just going to be adding um, our soil base. I'm gonna go ahead and open this bag. I'm just gonna scoop this in, this is too heavy. <laughs> So 
So we got all our soil in here, or you know, at least a good amount, but I did leave some space um, for the other stuff that we're gonna add in. But yeah, that's it for the soil base. All right, so next up, we are going to be adding the wood chips. So where did I put my scissors? Oh, they're behind me. <laughs> These chips are kind of like a little too big, but I'm still gonna use them because I ain't gonna waste money like that. <laughs> I'm just gonna maybe try and get like the smaller size chips, but let's get started. Right, so I added a little bit in. Um, I'm gonna start mixing though, just to see um, how it's looking because I don't wanna put too much bark chips because then the soil probably won't retain moisture that well. So this is what the mix is looking like so far. As you can see, she is um, all mixed up now. So I think this is probably good for the bark chips. But um, now we're going to be adding the vermiculite. I forgot I took off my glasses. <laughs> so now we're going to be adding the vermiculite. This bag is like really freaking light. Which I appreciate compared to this freaking soil bag. <laughs> and I don't have to cut this one open either. All right, so this is what it looks like. If y'all have never seen vermiculite before, it's like fine. It's basically like perlite and pumice, except it's different. <laughs> it's not as big as rocks as pumice, but I'm hoping this will do just fine. Like I said, it is my first time using this, so hopefully everything goes well. <laughs> I'm gonna just pour some in. And now we're just gonna mix it up again. You want to say hi? Hi, Ezra's here. It's me, your favorite Ezra. My favorite Ezra. I feel like I need like a stick to mix this all up. With. Just get in there with your hands. Anyway, you want me to? You want to put your hands in here? Yes. All I think right. it's weird that you don't. Cause I don't like my hands getting dirty. I hope you don't get any splinters. It'll be worth it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks to my boyfriend, Ezra. Um, our soil is all mixed up now, and I think she's looking good. We are just gonna be moving on to potting up some plants. All right, guys, so here she is, all repotted. Um, she is really floppy <laughs> and is just looking um, not the best right now, but hopefully um, with a good water, um, she will come back. If she doesn't, though, I'll let y'all know. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and move on to the snake plant. All right, so this one should be really easy because she already has no soil. <laughs> so... All right, guys, here is my snake plant all potted up. Anyways, guys, I think that ends our video. I hope you enjoyed watching, you know, if you made it all the way to the end or whatever. <laughs> if you try out my soil mix recipe, let me know. But um, don't forget to leave a like or a dislike. And I mainly upload plant content here. So if you be looking for that, I got you and maybe you want to subscribe. Um, but I am going to go now and hope you guys have a good day or night wherever you're from. And yeah, bye.